Okay, today I'm going to quickly show you how to fix the settings in your Active Inspire so that you can name and save sound files. I know the last class we had, um, a lot of you had the difficulty with being able to name and then save. So um, after doing a little bit of research and double checking um, things, I um, figured out how to quickly show you. What you're going to do first is you're going to go to Preferences under the Active Inspire menu and that's up here at the top left. See where it says um, I click on my Active Inspire menu and then I select Preferences. As this little thing pops up, you make sure Settings is selected here um, and it's the last one here on the right. You're selecting Settings and I look here on the left you have all these different choices here. You're going to go down and select Recordings and here it says capture frame rate, leave it at 5, um, hide screen recorder toolbox whilst recording. If you wanted to do that, you could click that box. It doesn't really matter. Um, that's not what we're here for. But you want to make sure next to sound recording, this is a drop down menu. You want, right now, you probably have it set to add to flip chart. Um, you want it to do both not just save to disk, you want it to add to flip chart and save to disk. And this will allow you to name it after you've recorded it. And that's exactly kind of, that's exactly what I showed you at the last class. And that's it. Once you're done with that, click done. And you're able to do it. And simply when you're doing your sound, you're simply on tools, more tools. So this pops up and you create your sound. Here's my sound. I'm making a test recording for this settings and again, you should have this pop up now. Save as, you name it. You make sure it's going to My Sounds folder in the My Resources folder. And you're done. That's it.